Hey guys, today we're going to do a little bit different video. Normally we don't do these sit down things, but why not? Okay, we're going to be unboxing the Bow Candy International Candy Subscription Box. And inside of this box, there are, it's a monthly subscription box, clearly a monthly subscription box. And inside of this box, there are different candies or items from different countries. So there are, and open it. And this is what it looks like. We have this bag on top that I'm not sure what it is. And then if you open it up in here, there are a couple other goodies in there as well. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying this. Off the bat, I see a cookie down there and I'm already excited. But we're probably going to save that for last. I think I'm more excited than her. Though. Okay. I know. I cookies. So most subscription boxes that they send you, they normally send you like a little card that describes what everything is. Unfortunately, we didn't get one of those in the subscription box, so I've actually gone ahead and Googled everything that's in this box just so I can give you guys a little bit more of a description to see what would be in you, what you guys would be getting. So the first thing in this box are these, I'm sorry if we don't pronounce this right, um, this is in a different language. I'm actually not sure what country this is from. It's a weird writing, so... I'm gonna call them Stobie Flips. They look like they're called Stobie Earths. Yeah, I wanna call them Stobie Flips. Um, Grand Prix Trading Corps, Richmond, New York. So they're made in New York, but they're not in English. So I googled the description for you guys. Strawberry flips are made of corn grits, ground peanut topping. They're made in sunflower oil, salt, and lots of love. The striking flavor makes Strawberry flips ideal snack for every occasion, any time of the day. Okay, so we're gonna do like three. So like one visual of like the actual product, two the smell, and three the taste. So. She's a smeller. She don't play that. I don't play that. Okay. It don't smell like. It don't smell right. She ain't it. What? No. They smell like peanuts. Yeah, they smell just like peanuts. Okay. Look. They look like tiny cheese puffs, but they're like the size of a peanut, and then taste. That threw me off. It's like. Mm. A cheese puff with peanut butter. Right. At first it tastes kind of like a chip. It definitely has the texture of a cheese puff. But then you get peanut at the They're end. They're very airy. Very light. Very airy. Mm. I like them. I like them. It's weird because they're savory, then sweet, then salty. Like, like it goes yeah. in a row. Like, cheesy. Peanut butter. Salt, like it just. Yep. She got it dead. That was dead on the top here. Are we gonna do? Oh, Macedonia Super Brand. So these are Macedonian. I hope I'm not wrong. Shout out to all the Macedonians out there. I think these are Macedonian. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. If you know anything about those, would you get out of one out of ten? Would you get get that? Look, that's a solid seven. Yeah, seven is about right. Second on our list that I see in here is I think I'm going to go for this cookie right here. This is a Dutch bakery windmill cookie, Dutch spiced cookie. And then the rest of it, it's made in Holland and exported to the Netherlands. So this is made in Holland. Um, the description that I looked up for you guys, I didn't really get one, just that it's a cookie. All right, I'm that's all we need to know. Like, I'm assuming it's a shortbread cookie. Sorry. Oh, they smell like gingerbread. They do? Okay, smell. This gingerbread is something else. That's not straight up gingerbread. Has gingerbread a little... and cinnamon maybe? This one's broken and I probably did that. Oh, so it's in half. That's okay. They know it's for us too. It's cute. It has a little flower on it. Kind of ugly. And then, and then taste wise. From the smell, I didn't expect this, but it's good. I don't even taste anything, to be honest with you. Like, I can smell the gingerbread, but I don't taste the aftertaste. The is, ugh. It has an eggy aftertaste. I don't taste eggy. Hmm? I don't taste eggy. I taste egg. Mm -hmm. I guess a cookie. Honestly, I bite it, and I'm just chewing with no taste. Really? Mm-hmm. It's not like I'm allergic. I get a taste girl. Oh, I got that egg. I got the eggy taste. What would you give this? Five. I'm looking like a three and a half. I didn't, I'm not, so next we have these things that are called, I gotta click a few of them actually. 
They are called kikis. They kikis. I hate when people call they me that. They The description of these that I found on the internet is kiki tutti frutti, a mix of all your favorite kiki candy fruits. So it's a tutti frutti candy. Tutti frutti. And the description that I'm seeing is no artificial colors, but with fruits, vitamins, and minerals added, um, toffees uh, have been created for health aware customers watching out for ingredients and foods they eat. I don't know if that's legit, but that's what I found on the internet. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Shout out to EuroFoodDeals.com because that's what I'm finding this stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're going to try all three. Oh, it looks just like a... Uh, it's like a now and later, like no. the paper even sticks to it. Or a Starburst even, there. almost, too. Oh, they're soft. I expected these to be really hard. And they're actually really soft. So there's your... This is strawberry. I still like that cookie stuff in there. Mm-hmm. That's pleasant. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what? It's pleasant. You can't lie. The more I chew, the better it gets. Mm-hmm. I don't want to end. Oh. And we need to get some keys. I would bit the side of my cheek. Yeah, my mouth is watering. That's how good it is. Sticks to your teeth. Definitely got Next, we're going to try lemon. Dairy doesn't like lemon flavored sweet things. No. Like cake candy. Can't stand it. That was me all against the coffee tape. Okay. Oh, okay. Lemon. Starburst. I just don't like lemon. This is a personal thing. I guess you like lemon. It's definitely lemony. Like a lemon meringue pie. Now we're going to try orange. I actually really like that. It was right. pleasant. They're definitely juicy. You like to say. They have a they good are. amount of juice. It's like a better version of a Starburst. Oh, you put these. Starburst. You're putting these above it. Yeah. Damn. Starburst are like hard, and like you have to like chew and like get all your saliva in there to like get the flavor. These ones are like soft and like it's it's there. A little bit of paper, whatever, healthy. A little extra fiber. Sorry, we go down. Some fiber up in there. <laughs> Some fiber. Orange. Oh yeah. Orange is my least favorite about all of them. Strawberry, orange, lemon. Personal Strawberry, preference. lemon, orange. Personal preference. But the candy as a whole, give it a nine. Yeah, I give it a nine. Okay, next. Um, these are very interesting to me. I think they're called Bronhi. Bronhi. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron. Bronhi. Okay, when I read the description of these, I was very intrigued. They're actually really hard. Okay, the description of these is a combination of menthol and eucalyptus blended with 15 Mediterranean herbs creates a distinctive taste and long-lasting feeling of freshness. I don't know how to feel about this. So they come in these little wrappers like this, and here you go. They're black like me. I'm not going to like this. They have a very... Oh, it smells like black licorice. Can't do this. I can't do this. Uh, it's kind of not focused. Okay, we can do the taste smell. Oh, I got it. Of. See how it looks right here? It's got a little weird, but hold on. You said it smells like licorice? It smells like black licorice. Oh, no. Okay, smell. I'm gonna do it. Smell. Black licorice. Ew. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a bite, not the whole thing. Getting better. No. Nope. Ew. Mm. Ew. Oh. Oh. Would you like me to do that a little bit more politely to refill? No, I'm good. That's that's real. We want realistic. That was it's disgusting. It's literally black, black licorice, licorice. But. But if black licorice in mint had a baby, this would be their disgusting offspring. Yeah, their demon child. You know what this is getting? It's it's a very mild black licorice, so it's not like black licorice. It's like, ew, there's, a, there's mm -hmm. a, that's black licorice with a little bit of mint. But I do feel fresh. That was yeah, like, that's true. I do feel 
a lasting feeling of freshness. So, so LeBron James gets a one. This is this is a one. The freshness gets a five. <laughs> Okay. Next, we have these things, which these I can't even Google because all they say is fancy. And oh, when you, you Google fancy candy, this definitely doesn't pop up. Oh, so Let me see if I can Google like fancy candy with fruit on wrapper. Hold on. These, to be honest with you, 100%, I'm disappointed to see in this box. Really? Um, what? these are candies that you never figured out where Grandma got them from. Oh yeah. But Grandma always had them. Yep. Um, and that tin can. I'm pretty sure, like they're really hard on the outside, and you bite into it, it's like weird chewy center. Weird chewy stuff. I'm pretty sure that's what these are, like the strawberry ones. You guys probably know I'm talking about the strawberry ones. I'm pretty sure this is what they are. these are, but I'm kind of disappointed to see these in here because I'm pretty sure, like, pretty sure we have these here and they're not anything to write home about. Um, I'm gonna get the uh, which, one which one do you want? I think green would be like green apple. I'm maybe. getting red. Red is always your best bet. I'm guess. going with orange. So you twist this thing off. And then, let me guess. I got there's a clear thing in there. No, nope, yeah, there's no clear. Yeah, this is exactly what our floor is clean. Sometimes. <laughs> it looks like a mini little lollipop without a stick. Pretty much. It's picking up. Whoop. Yep, it looks like a little lollipop without a stick. Go. Exactly like I thought it was. Good. Oh yeah, I like them though. I like them. I'm not. They taste good, but. Mm. Oh man. Not a lie. If you have sensitive teeth, like I have really sensitive teeth, this instantly made my teeth hurt. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like bad. So this is like straight up sugar mixed with sugar and more sugar. sugar. I'll give that a, um, a six, and some of that's due to nostalgic. Nostalgic? Nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Just those days going back in your grandma's uh, closet, your cabinet. What the fuck were you in your grandma's closet? I don't know, I'm in cabinet. I call it. Give me some that water, though. I don't, my grandma always just had these, like in her purse. Like, they're kind of just there. <laughs> Next, we have. Gorlaki. Gorlaki. Coco Sowie? Gorlaki, Coco Sowie? Coco Sowie. I'm Sowie. <laughs> this is, I believe, from. It also has weird handwriting, but it looks a little bit more normal. This looks really promising. This looks Polish to me. It is Polish, okay. actually. I think it says it on the uh, description. Uh, we're reading the chocolate one. This one, I believe, is coconut. Um, is that coconut? I'm Jamaican, and I'm apparently I'm not a real Jamaican. Delicious I'm... chocolate wafer wrapped in even more high quality Polish chocolate. This is from Poland. Um, Polak. These are actually currently out of stock on Munchpack.com. I'm not going to give them a sponsor. These are actually currently out of stock on the website I'm looking at right now. So again, I'm assuming they're pretty good. It's coconut. It's straight up coconut. Personal preference here again. I'm going to try my best to get my you know, complete. It's so. weird because there's only chocolate on the sides and then it's like. It looks good though. Mm hmm. Look. What? <laughs> okay. If this wasn't coconut. I bet that'd be really, really. It tastes like those little wafer cookies, mm -hmm. but like 10 times better. Like, yes. I actually wafer, like that. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. The little wafer cookies that come in like strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. They're really they cheap for like a dollar. They know what they're talking about. This wafer does not taste like styrofoam. Like those cookies, you're like, these are so good, but you know that deep down inside they taste like styrofoam. This is like Legit. the queen of wafers. Like this wafer is really good. It like melts in your mouth kind of. That's good. This is really good. Actually. It doesn't really taste like coconut either. Oh, is that good? You get another bite, huh? I think it's a nine. Damn. Last, but certainly not least, is this magical cookie right here. It is get up and go all natural smart energy chocolate chip cookie. And it has one shot of espresso, I'm guessing, in every cookie. To be specific, this is. <coughs> 
to be specific, is 180 milligrams of caffeine in every cookie. Mm. I bet it tastes bomb warmed up. Me, I'm the type of guy that has to warm up every cookie I eat. But, and I'm gonna have a, obviously an exception with this one, but cookies are way better warmed up. Okay, first impression, it smells like a cookie. I can smell a hint of something in that though. That's not straight up, like I can smell something. It smells like a cookie. It smells like, it smells like Nutella cookies actually, just like a cookie. And then, ooh, texture wise, it's so freaking soft. Like, really? Like, look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's how I like it, baby. All right, ready? Yeah. Go. Ahead. Go. Personally, I can taste the espresso a little bit. I can't. But I like coffee. Yeah. Is it like a though. bad? Mm mm. It's good though. I feel like there's a little aftertaste, but it's not like a ooh coffee. I still give this a, a knee. I'm gonna give it an A actually. I give it like a nine. Eight or nine. Alright guys, so if you liked this video and would like more videos possibly like this, go ahead and like this video down below. That way we know that we're not weirdos just eating things on camera. Like if you'd actually like to see us try different foods, try different candies, which I actually would freaking love because I like food. So if you guys would like other videos like this, go ahead and like it down below. There should be a little like little floaty, floaty finger down there, like going crazy to encourage y'all to like this. And if you guys have anything specific that you'd like us to try, go ahead and comment that down below. Like if there's like, oh, you should try this candy, or oh, you should try this. You know, I like, I really want to try those Japanese sodas with the marbles in them. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. They're like glass Japanese sodas, and there's a marble on the top. And you have to like push the marble down in order to drink it. And I really want to try those, but I don't know where to get them here in America. 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 So if you guys have any suggestions of what we could do, anything we could try, um, please go ahead and let us down below. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. Subscribe. It's not subscribe.